Good afternoon. On behalf of the Foundation for App Appalachian Ohio, it's a pleasure to welcome you to our Giving Tuesday celebration. My name is Ron Strickmaker, and I have the honor of serving as chair of the Foundation of Appalachian Ohio's Board of Trustees. And thank you for joining us today. If you experience any technical difficulties in the coming hour, please call our office or message us here in the chat. Your friends at FAO are standing by to help. I can't think of a better way to celebrate a global day of giving than coming together to rejoice in all we have accomplished together and to be inspired by the possibilities that lie ahead. As we gather virtually today, I'd like to draw your attention to the Foundation for Appalachian Ohio's Legacy Candle. Today and every day we honor and remember those who have left this earth and whose love for this region and spirit of generosity continue to live on. Through your time, talent, and treasure and commitment to this region, each of you have played an essential role in everything we're able to do for the people and communities of Appalachian, Ohio. As we wrap up FAO's 24th year, there is so much to celebrate. The programs you will hear about today have been made possible through gifts to FAO's I'm a Child of Appalachia Fund and other public and private support. Thanks to the visionary investment from the state of Ohio, Gifts to our Child of Appalachia Fund and to many other funds and several of our foundation affiliates will be matched dollar for dollar. Giving of any kind on any day makes a huge difference. There is power in what we can do together in harnessing our ideas, networks, resources, and the love of our region and the children of Appalachia. That's what our Giving Tuesday celebration is all about. We want to hear from you today and every day Throughout this program, we encourage you to share your stories, ideas, and love for Appalachian Ohio through the chat. Whether you are a child of Appalachia, someone who found a home here later in life, or an admirer from afar, we are grateful you're with us today. I invite you to share in the chat now how you've affiliated with FAO, why you love this region, or your hopes and dreams for the future. What is most meaningful to you and to our region? That is the heart of our mission, as you will hear soon. It is now my pleasure to turn our program over to Kara Dingus-Brook, who has served the FAO's president and CEO for 16 years. Kara will show highlights of the past year and previews of where we're headed in 2023, the Foundation's Silver Jubilee. Thank you, Ron. And to everyone, happy Giving Tuesday. We're so grateful that you've joined us. The vision of the Foundation for Appalachian Ohio is for our region to be abundant in possibility. Our mission is to create opportunities for the people of Appalachian, Ohio. We do this by growing philanthropy, inspiring regional collaboration, and investing in transformative leaders. FAO works across five areas we call the pillars of prosperity, arts and culture, community and economic development, education, environmental stewardship, and health and human services. We're a community of givers dedicating time, talent, and treasure to advance sustained transformations in communities throughout Appalachian, Ohio. We've grown to be a family of 600 charitable funds, 14 affiliate community foundations, and the region-wide African-American Community Fund. At the core of everything we do is our I'm a Child of Appalachia Fund, which fuels and empowers our work to inspire philanthropy, build collaboration, and invest in transformative leaders. Over the last year, FAO gave more than 1,200 grants, scholarships, and fellowships, totaling more than $5 million. These investments empowered thousands of leaders in their work to create opportunities for others. Every county has seen the benefit and the impact will outlive us all. For today's program, it was hard to narrow the selection of stories down from 1,200 grants to three grants. We made our best attempt because we really want you to experience the joy of seeing the impact of your gifts. And that word seeing is a perfect transition to our first story. During last year's Giving Tuesday celebration, we reported on the launch of a new mobile vision clinic made possible by your gifts to our I'm a Child of Appalachia Fund. The mobile vision clinic provides free eye exams and eyeglasses to students at their schools. The vision clinic is possible because of a collaboration with the Ohio Optometric Association, the Ohio Optometric Foundation, the national nonprofit Vision to Learn, a new pay for success program called Results Ohio, and K through 12 school districts. To prepare this report, we sat down with two of the optometrists who provide exams through the clinic. 
a husband and wife duo, Drs. Tom and Susan Quinn. I'm Dr. Tom Quinn. I'm Dr. Susan Quinn. We retired from our private practice about a year and a half before we began on the van. Every week when we leave, we feel like we did something meaningful. There's a story or two worth retelling in, in the car home. One of my favorite stories is this young boy, I would say he's maybe fourth grade, came in not wearing any correction. And his biggest complaint was his eye turned in and the kids made fun of him. The good news is that when we corrected his farsightedness, his eyes straightened out. So not only did we help him with the ease of vision and the clarity of vision, we helped change his whole self-perception because now his eyes lined up. I understand that there's a disconnect between access and services. And um, that's frustrated me for most of my career. So it's wonderful to be part of the solution. It's wonderful to be able to bring access to children that wouldn't have it otherwise. There's no reason why someone should matter more than someone else. And if a group of people don't have the access, the resources, or the tools they need to thrive, then something should be done about that. And I thank the Foundation for Appalachia, Ohio, and I'm really proud to be part of the solution. We loved what Dr. Susan Quinn said, everyone deserves access to vision care. FAO's first tagline nearly 25 years ago was FAO, fostering access to opportunity. Helping you foster access to opportunity is still what FAO is all about. Our current clinic can serve 10,000 children, but we know 45,000 children in the region need vision care. FAO's goal is to continue fundraising to expand the clinic until every child in Appalachian, Ohio has access. We need your help. One way you can help make this dream a reality is by giving a gift to our I'm a Child of Appalachia Fund. If you would like more information, check out the chat for links to additional videos and the independent evaluation for this program. Dr. Tom described how meaningful it was to be part of the mobile clinic. We know that being part of meaningful work makes for a great life, and that being part of a community doing meaningful work brings joy, the kind of joy that draws us in and causes us to stay and put our energies to work for our communities. If you look at the census data, you'll see that Appalachian, Ohio is losing our 18 to 35 year old population. And many of you would tell me, you don't need to look at the data to know that problem is real for your community. When we retain young people, we retain our future community leaders. This is essential to our vision of abundance for Appalachia. This time last year, FAO shared a dream with you that we would be able to get five fellowships in 2022, one to a leader advancing transformation in each of our five pillars of prosperity. We're grateful to report that we'll close this year awarding not five, but 120 fellowships across our pillars. This is happening through our new leadership development program called the Growing Home Fellowship, which is engaging young leaders ages 18 to 35. These leaders agree to live, work, and volunteer in our communities for five years. In exchange, FAO provides leadership development, networking opportunities, and a stipend. The pilot is targeted to those who are supporting our children, whether in the classroom or in other environments. And it's possible because of your gifts to the I'm a Child of Appalachia Fund and because of visionary investment from Governor DeWine through the Governor's Emergency Education Relief Fund, Ken Taylor of Ohio Cat, and an anonymous donor who seeded the vision. It is amazing that all of us can have this impact through FAO. Our economic development partners at Ohio Southeast and within our communities have been essential to the launch of the Growing Home Program. We want to start by sharing their perspective. My name is Perry Varnado. I'm the Economic Development Director in Meigs County, Ohio, and have done that for just a little over 20 years. We've talked locally for years about ways to bring our young people back to the community and keep them here, especially in targeted sectors that uh, we, we need more of. With the Foundation for Appalachian Ohio's Growing Home Fellowship, 
it's a wonderful program to, to provide an incentive to keep folks here and to bring them back here to serve in roles in their community. Rural communities across our country are facing an exodus of young people. This program does the opposite, that it brings them home, and not only brings them home, but it tells them we want your thoughts, we want your ideas, and we want you involved in our community. You're an important part of what we do and what the future is gonna be in Appalachian, Ohio. I hope in Meigs County and Southeast Ohio, we can continue to be the kind of community to where not only do we grow and prosper, but that folks feel comfort here, that it's always home to them. And that's where, with the Growing Home Fellowship, our young people can have that say in making the community and molding it into what they think it should be in the future. The goal of the Growing Home Fellowship is to retain and attract young leaders. 60 of our fellows are young people who are already living in our region and stepping into larger leadership roles. The other 60 are young people who are moving to Appalachian, Ohio, or have committed to live in our region upon graduation. We're excited to introduce one of our new Growing Home Fellows, John McLean. John applied for the fellowship to advance his vision for using music programs to help young people with that transition from high school to adulthood. My name is John McLean, and I am Director of Choirs at Logan High School. I was recently accepted as a fellow in the Growing Home Fellowship. As soon as I went to college, I was faced with opportunity that I never imagined to be my reality. Um, every single year in my undergrad, we traveled, and music was the reason we traveled. Four years later, it's time to find a job, and I thought, well, like, it, should I come back home? I, I don't know, like, have I experienced what I need to experience? And uh, I decided to apply, and I decided that I want to make, I wanted to make this place where I grew up and gave me so much and I felt crazy amounts of support. I wanted to create a legacy with the choirs and put Logan High School on the map for their reputation, for what our young people can do. I made it my goal when I came back home, there were gonna be two non-negotiables that I was going to bring the world to the students of Logan and bring the students of Logan to the world through music because young people in this area, they. They deserve it. It's my goal to develop a program called the Voices of Appalachia. I found that when students leave this program that I've created, that transition from graduation to young adulthood is a really tricky one to navigate. I w I'd like to provide them through this program the skills that they need to continue to be successful. There's an unfortunate negative connotation when you hear the word Appalachia. And I think it's really cool that we have an opportunity here through this, this fellowship for young people to redefine what the connotation of Appalachia is and can be. I know that it will only be a positive impact on my students. They know that I support them as their teacher, but for them to see another organization or another group of people supporting their teacher who supports them, they feel empowered because I feel empowered because somebody else is empowering me. Thank you uh, to the foundation and to the committee, and I can't wait to see what comes next. We're excited to see what comes next too. We will have more videos of Growing Home Fellows soon. Today, we've prepared a collage of videos our fellows have submitted to share their excitement. Community is the idea that we can all become our best selves uh, because of each other. It's about walking with people through different stages of their lives um, and learning and growing from each other in everything that we do. I think there's just a warmth wherever you go in southeastern Ohio that isn't the same anywhere else. And I want more people to stay in this community so we can make it an even more, you know, wonderful place. I want people to believe that even the smallest things can have great impact on our community. A huge important part of leadership is finding ways to give back. I believe to be a good leader, you need to have the ability to work with those around you and to feel passionate about what you're doing and to motivate others to do the same thing. They're the ones that build each other up, build up everybody, um, remain positive, and encourage the best in people. Leaders are people who live with integrity and show kindness to others and empathy and truly want others to thrive. I'm really excited to be 
part of this fellowship is, you know, because I have the opportunity to be a part of the solution. I look forward to the next five years and being able to see what we can do for the Appalachian region in that time. Because of the fellowship, I'm going to be able to give back to my home community in ways that I didn't previously expect. I'm so honored to be recognized as a, as a growing home fellow and I will continue to serve this area in the best possible way that I can. You know, thank you and uh, let's get to work. At FAO, we believe everyone can be a leader because everyone has influence. We all matter to the future of this special place we call home. Now is an extraordinary time in the life of our region. After decades of collective work to advance socioeconomic parity for Appalachian, Ohio, we are celebrating historic levels of public investment, infrastructure, broadband, workforce, schools, education, children's health, and much more. And while these long anticipated public investments are happening, we're also celebrating historic levels of philanthropic giving. In the last three and a half years, more than 20,000 people have given through FAO to create opportunities for others. Each investment, public and philanthropic, is opening the door to even greater possibility. Turning the possibilities into reality requires all of us. Now is the time for each of us to take hold to dig deeper, and to reach further with our gifts of leadership and philanthropy. You are already doing it, and we are so grateful. As we look ahead to 2023, we dream of expanding the Vision Clinic to serve every child in Appalachian, Ohio in need. We dream of expanding our fellowship program to more occupations and demographics. We would love to fund 1,000 fellows over the next 10 years. We dream of building on our work with the fellowship to also offer leadership development opportunities for our scholarship recipients. Thanks to many of you, FAO is awarding more than 500 scholarships annually, and there are exciting opportunities to provide mentoring and networking to these young people to further support their success and encourage them to return home after graduation. We dream of significantly increasing the permanent endowments available to advance sustained transformation in our communities and we dream of expanding our regional grants to provide funding to children to support youth leadership across the pillars of prosperity. We've been amazed by the leadership of children this year. Youth have been some of our most active users of Cause Connector, our digital giving platform. Hundreds of children have raised funds for our Joe Burrow Hunger Relief Fund through lemonade stands, car washes, and our favorite, a duct tape your principal to the wall fundraiser, a dollar for a piece of duct tape, with the help of young people, we expanded our Fill the Freezer collaboration across counties. This attracts donations of hogs raised by 4-H kids to fill the freezers of local pantries. More than 9,000 pounds of pork were donated in 2022. Kids are stepping forward to make sure their friends have full tummies and in doing so, the opportunity to learn and grow. This last video shares the perspective of young adults working with one of FAO's local community foundation affiliates. Watching this video, I can't help but think of my own children who are two and five years old. When they grow up, I want them to go wherever they feel called to be. And if they feel that same call that I do to stay here in this incredible region, I want them to experience a sense of purpose, hope, and abundance that these young leaders are experiencing. Anytime I go out, I see people lifting each other up I see so many organizations that work to make sure everyone has what they need to get through life and it inspires me to help people. I see the impact people have on others' lives and I want to put that smile on someone's face. I want to do that in my life. When you think of a small town like Max County, you're like, oh, probably all those hick country people, but then you get involved and you're like, wow. There are so many amazing people in this community. One of the people who inspires me other than my parents would have to be Jennifer Sheets. And she's involved with the Meigs County Foundation. And just to think like someone like her can do something that big and raise that much money and put that much work into something. It makes me think like 
I think I can do that. If she can do it, I can do it. I think everyone is called to serve their community and their, their, their friends, their family, the people that they love, the strangers that surround them and support them. The Meigs County Foundation is one of my favorite organizations here in the community. Um, they've raised so much money to be able to fund programs and opportunities that have personally affected me. I think there are a lot of members of the community that up until now didn't believe that anything like that was possible. And now that ha that has happened, I and so many others believe big things can happen. It does incite some pride that, you know, whenever you get to drive by and see these projects that the uh, foundation has helped fund, it is, it kind of makes your heart swell with a little bit of pride to be able to think, I contributed to that. I had a hand in that. With how much this community has provided to me, like, how could I, how could I deny such a great opportunity to give back to it? Like, I don't feel like, oh yeah, I'm a good person because I do this. It's just, it just seems like naturally the thing to do. There's so many people in this county who put so much hard work and so much love into this town that just, it, it'll go places. And I know, I know it'll be great. Their hope and vision inspire and call us all to do more. That last video came through a Meigs County Community Foundation, which is one of 14 affiliate community foundations supported by FAO. In 2022, we launched new foundations to serve Vinton, Noble, and Lawrence County. As a result, every county in Appalachian, Ohio is now served by a local foundation. We are also grateful to be supporting the African American Community Foundation, which you will hear about shortly. Today, we've celebrated region-wide impact this success is only possible because of local leadership. We have much to be grateful for this year, and at the top of our list is your love for the people of Appalachian, Ohio. The word philanthropy literally means love of humankind. We know your gifts are an expression of your love for the people of Appalachian, Ohio. At FAO, our goal is to inspire philanthropy in all its forms. We thank you for your giving to your local foundations, your favorite nonprofits, your favorite pillars. As you give today, we hope you will also consider a gift to FAO's I Machado of Appalachia Fund, which enables everything you've heard about today and fuels our collective work to inspire philanthropy, leverage the power of collaboration, and support transformative leaders. Your gift to the I Machado of Appalachia Fund will help bring the Mobile Vision Clinic to every child in need it will help call our young people home to serve as leaders. It will help us grow local community foundations and nonprofit endowments, and it will increase opportunities for our youth and children, including funds they can use to solve challenges. We hope you will celebrate Giving Tuesday by making a gift today. It's a great time because we have many matching opportunities, which you can read about in the chat. As you make a gift today, we hope you'll also commit to making 2023 the year you plan for a legacy gift that will give to your community beyond your lifetime. We all have one precious life. And what I'm learning from working with all of you is that giving is the path to really living. It's been so exciting to experience the joy and the meaning you find through giving. You're making such a difference. And we at the Foundation for Appalachian Ohio are truly grateful. Ron, it's now my pleasure to pass things back to you so we can begin to present our special awards. Thank you, Kara. As a child of Appalachia, an FAO donor and a board member, it brings me great joy to see how together we are building a culture, mindset, and future of philanthropy as we address the region's most pressing needs. Leave the woodpile higher than you found it. That's the motto I live by and the spirit of what we're called to do together and in partnership with FAO. It's about leaving things better for those who follow. Each year, more individuals, private and public entities, and now 14 local affiliate foundations and the region-wide African American Community Fund join in our quest to ensure that everyone in Appalachian, Ohio, from the young to the young at heart, have access to abundance of opportunities. Today, we are honored to recognize an individual and a group of individuals whose efforts to improve lives and communities throughout Appalachian, Ohio, have already made a profound impact on our region and will continue to be transformative for generations to come. Earlier this year, the FAO Board established the Changemaker Award to recognize and celebrate an organization, 
team or individual deemed to have advanced the most transformative changes within our region. This past summer, we presented our first Change Maker Award to the Board of the Athens County Food Pantry for their visionary leadership in responding to and stewarding the outpouring of gifts following Joe Burrell's Heisman Trophy speech. Today, we are proud to present our second Change Maker Award to the Board of the African American Community Fund, who in just three years have grown resources that are changing lives and elevating the quality of life for African Americans in our region. Established in January of 2020, the African American Community Fund serves as a vehicle to address disparities in the African American community and to improve the physical, economic, and structural conditions that affect quality of life. In less than three years, the fund has received more than 150 gifts, totaling nearly $500,000. Because of this generosity and the support of the AEP Foundation, the African American Community Fund has been able to award more than 25 grants that have benefited Black-led and Black-serving nonprofits and public organizations serving African American communities throughout the region. And behind all the generosity is a dedicated committee that's invested time, talent, and treasure, and a lot of love into strengthening not only African-American populations in the region, but entire communities. We are honored to celebrate African-American Community Fund board members, Ernie Bynum, Rosetta Carter, Dr. Michelle Reynolds, Ralph Smithers, Ken Mason, and Dr. T. Ford Ahmad. It's my pleasure to welcome Ernie Bynum, a 10th generation Appalachian who co-founded the African-American Community Fund alongside his father, the late Ernest E. Bynum, whose legacy of service to community and region lives on. Ernie is accepting the 2022 Changemaker Award on behalf of the African-American Community Fund Board. Well, first and foremost, I would like to say thank you to the Foundation for Appalachian, Ohio. Thank you to everybody involved. A little bit about myself, I'm a 10th generation Appalachian but I'm the first generation in my family that was born with all the rights of American citizen. Born with the right to vote, the right to live where I want to live, the right to go to school and send my kids to school where I choose, the right to marry and love whoever I want. And I'd just like to be very, very thankful for the Foundation of Appalachian, Ohio. And the African American Community Fund was a fund that we established due to the disparity of traditional philanthropy in the African-American community. African-Americans have always been philanthropic, even since the days of slavery. When you didn't have enough cotton in your bag, give him a little cotton so he don't get in trouble. Stuff like that, feeding the hungry. Churches got together, made sure that the people in the congregation and outside the congregation had clothing couldn't pay for rent, we'd get together and have a party, pay for the rent. So African-American philanthropy is different in the way that it gives. And to be able to get traditionally involved now, it just made such an impact throughout the region that we look to continue to grow the fund with your support and show how much love that we have for our communities. The African-American community had long been excluded but we've chosen to be better and not bitter. So we're going to go forward with our partnership with the Foundation of Appalachian, Ohio, and transform this region in a place where there's an abundance of opportunities for all. I would just like to say thank you, Ron. Thank you, Ernie. And thanks to the board of the African American Community Fund, to those who have given their time, talent, and treasure and its efforts. As the 2022 Changemaker Award recipient, the African American Community Fund will receive a $10,000 award for its commitment to improve the lives of our region and to fund future investments in its mission. While the 2022 Changemaker Award recipients provide a beautiful example of what a group of diverse individuals united by passion can achieve together, our next award recipient embodies the power of a single individual has to change the world. The Chaddock Philanthropist of the Year Award was established in honor and recognition of FAO's board member Jeff Chaddock and his partner Mark Morrow to celebrate those who have made an outsized difference in Appalachian through their gifts of philanthropy. Our 2022 Chaddock Philanthropist of the Year Award is being presented posthumously to a quiet champion of our region who was taken from this world too early, but whose legacy will forever open a world of opportunities for the children of Appalachian, Ohio. Stephen Philip McCain was a child of Appalachia, born in Erie, Pennsylvania in 1973 before moving to Cincinnati. A child of many athletic and academic talents, 
It was an opportunity and Stephen's love of English that brought him back to Appalachia to study at Ohio University. Like many who come to this region in pursuit of education, Stephen fell in love with the area, the natural beauty, the communities, and the people. During his studies, Stephen taught K through 12 classrooms within Appalachian, Ohio, was surprised to discover the level of remedial instruction students needed in his English classes. Stephen went on to enjoy a successful career in writing and to travel the world, but he never forgot about those students, the children of Appalachian, Ohio. When Stephen began facing health challenges, he realized he was in a unique financial position to leave a legacy and opportunity for students in Appalachian, Ohio. He had already been given monthly online donations to FAO, had researched its investment stewardship, and had discussed with his parents a planned gift to FAO. On June 1, 2021, the world lost Stephen McCain, a thoughtful writer, world traveler, beloved family member, and generous philanthropist. To honor the $1 million Stephen bestowed to the foundation, we created the Stephen McCain Legacy Fund for Appalachian, Ohio. The fund is advancing FAO's I'm a Child of Appalachia programs and enriching life-changing opportunities for the children of our region today and forever. We are honored to have Stephen's parents, Jack and Marilyn Osborne, joining us today from Cincinnati. Jack and Marilyn have provided a statement to share with you, and I'm pleased to welcome Tracy Mann, Director of Plan Giving at FAO, to share their words with you. The family of Stephen McCain is understandably appreciative that the Foundation for Appalachian Ohio has honored Steve with the Chaddock Philanthropist of the Year Award. Stephen lived in and traveled many parts of our world. He always returned to Athens, Ohio and the surrounding region to see friends, to center himself, and to feel once again at home. Stephen loved the region and its people. He cared about them. This award reflects Steve's desire to do what he was able to do to improve the lives of people in Appalachian, Ohio. Steve's nature was to do good things for others without seeking recognition. We, his family, are so pleased that you have recognized him with the Chaddock Philanthropist of the Year Award, which recognizes Stephen's efforts for others. Thank you. The family of Stephen P. McCain and his parents, Marilyn and Jack Osborne. Our heartfelt thanks to Jack and Marilyn for sharing their time and their son's legacy with us and all of Appalachian, Ohio. If you, like Stephen, want to become a monthly donor to FAO and support the causes and organizations that mean the most to you, we'll drop a link into the chat for you to start that process today. And if you've not already done so, we hope that you will make 2023 the year you will be making a plan of a legacy gift benefiting, benefiting Appalachian, Ohio. While Stephen McCain's million dollar gift is amazing, appreciated gifts, gifts of all sizes from both inside and outside the region ensure that profound impact, like what we've shared today, continues far into the future. My wife, Callista, and I have made a planned gift through FAO to our private chair, for our private local charities and to FAO to help achieve our dreams for Appalachian and Ohio to become a region of possibility. I can personally attest to the peace of mind and joy that comes from knowing the organizations we care about will receive a permanent boost to their missions when we are gone. Through your love for, belief in, and deep desire to make a difference in our communities, each of you has made it possible everything you've heard here today and so much more. Together we can fill even more needs in our region, leave the wood pile higher than we found it, and fuel sustainable transformation every day. As a reminder, all gifts to FAO's I'm a Child of Appalachia Fund and to many of our other funds and the Foundation affiliates will be matched dollar for dollar. Working together is a hallmark of Appalachian, Ohio, and what has been brought to this region so far. And it's what will drive this region forward in years to come. On behalf of the Foundation for Appalachian, Ohio, our board, and every child of Appalachian community that has benefited from your generosity, your heart, and your legacy, I thank you for joining us today. Our conversation and our togetherness do not end here. We want to hear from you. We need your ideas, your introductions, your willingness to help in ways that are meaningful to you. We need you to help remove the barriers to prosperity, to level the playing field for our children, and to create the abundance of opportunities in this region we all love. You will be hearing from us soon about more ways you can get involved with FAO. Thank you for giving your time to Giving Tuesday to celebrate with us. 
We look forward to continued celebrations around the additional opportunities we'll be able to create because of you. We're excited to close out today's celebration with an opportunity to see the power of your giving in action. Watch as some of the children of Appalachia try on their first pair of glasses, thanks to the Mobile Vision Clinic. As Kara shared with you earlier, we have our sights set on becoming able to provide every child in Appalachia access to these clinics. But we need your help to make that vision, children's vision, and so much more a reality. See a lot better. <laughs> I love it. He looks so Yes. <laughs> um, usually I can't see that far because it was like hard to see. Now it's like easy to see farther now. And everything looks brand new.